Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Benta and if you're new here and like what you see, please do consider subscribing to my channel and do not forget to hit on that subscribe button. So today I am cooking everybody's favorite, which is okra soup. African style okra soup, Gambian style known as super kanja. Super kanja, okay? This okra soup is going to be so yummy. As you guys can tell already by what you're saying, this is going to be popping. I have all kinds of seafood in this okra soup and it is so, so delicious, okay? So this is one of my favorite Gambian dishes out there. So I really enjoy this and I'm sure you guys are gonna enjoy it if you try it out. So if you wanna see how I um, cook this okra soup, stay tuned and watch the rest of the video. Hey guys, so it's time to cook, okay? And this is everything that we have here. As you guys can see, my countertop is filled up, okay? So first, I'm going to start by showing you guys um, the okra. So this is chopped okra, as you can see. It's um, nicely chopped, round ones. That's how you want it. And right here, I have some vegetables. I have some bell peppers. Um, half slice of onion so this is pretty big and scallions I have three jalapeno peppers right there and I have scotch bonnet which is the habanero peppers okay so everything in this bowl is going to be blended so yeah next we're moving to the meat that's the meat it's lamb you can use any type of meat that you want either lamb or beef okay and next is our crab and our shrimps okay this is also okra but this is blended okay and as you guys can tell it is um nicely blended like so and we're going to be using this later on in the cooking and this is a tip that you might want to know anytime you're cooking okra soup very important okay that's what it looks like look at that it's blended so next is um, my, this here is some mackerel, mackerel fish and I already broiled it, okay? So there's a lot of prepping to do before cooking this, that way you can cut your cooking time into half. So I prepped these like earlier today. So this is mackerel and I broiled it in the oven. That's why it's looking brown. And then the next one is some cow food and um, tribe, cow tribe, beef tribe and cow food, okay? So these also I have already pre-cooked with some seasoning, um, basically salt and pepper and some onion powder. So I season it and then I boiled it for a few minutes in my pressure cooker so it's already pre-cooked and that one over there is the broth that I cook the cow foot in okay this is the beef or cow foot broth so of course you know we cannot throw away this juice because that's where all the goody and the yumminess is in so we're going to use that later on in the cooking so that's all the ingredients that we are going to be using and before I forget you are definitely gonna need some palm oil so make sure um, I don't have that on the table here but I am definitely gonna be using some palm oil as well okay so that's it and yeah let's go ahead and blend our vegetables and then we can go ahead and start cooking okay Let them talk, let them talk, let 
Alright guys, so here is my pot. I have a giant pot for this okra soup because it's going to be a lot. So, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some water in there. So, I bought water in my kettle. You don't have to. You can just pour water in the pot and put it and um, place it on your stove, basically. But, I just want my water to boil quickly, so I pre-boiled it. meat into the pot like so and now I am adding my blended vegetables to it I just rinse the pot, um, the blender, and now I'm adding some seasoning, um, cube, Maggi cube, basically. This Maggi cube is so strong. I don't even have time to break it. It'll break itself in there. So I'm adding two of those. A bit of salt add your salt and maggie cube according to your taste and how much you're cooking so I'm gonna give that a quick stir and my stove is on now I'm gonna bring that to a boil and then we can add our um, okra after our meat starts to boil okay there you go Okay, the meat is boiling, so now it's time to add my okra. Let it come to a boil. All right, guys. We're giving this a stare. I'm gonna go ahead and add my palm oil now. You can wait till later, but I'm adding it um, pretty quickly, okay? And the next thing I'm adding is my peppers. You guys remember the scotch bonnets that I have. And I'm also gonna add my crabs. And here is some um, bitter balls. This is optional, you really don't need to add this. So I'm adding that. And here I have my shrimp left. And you know shrimp cooks really, really quickly, so I'm gonna let that sit for a while. So let's give it a stir. There you go. Oh, it looks so good already. So one optional thing that you may wanna add is this. And this is um, locust beans, okay? Locust beans. And if you don't have locust beans, you can add some ogiri. So, this will give it that authentic taste 
that authentic African taste, okay? So, it's optional, but you might want to add this to it because it just makes your okra soup taste so good and the smell, mmm, 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 mm. So, make sure you guys add it there if you have it. Like I said, if you don't have it, that's fine. Either ogiri or locust beans, okay? Ground locust beans or ogiri. That's just it. So, gonna let it boil. Alright guys, our aqua soup is coming together. So, I'm gonna give it a quick stir. So we still have a couple of things that needs to be added. We have our shrimp, we have our um, blended okra. This is going to be added at the end, okay? And we have our mackerel. This is broiled mackerel. And we have our cow foot and tripe as well. So coming together, coming together. We're almost done. Alright guys, so now we're going to add our cow foot. Like I said, this is pre-cooked. So yummy all right so gonna leave it for a while as you guys can see our okra soup is almost done and it's really slimy but the tip is this this has been blended because we're going to add this almost five to ten minutes before um, we're done okay and this is going to help the okra soup get even more slimy like that's a tip if you don't know that now you know it because the thing is that Gambian okra soup we boil it for a while okay so and if you boil okra soup for a while the slime tends to reduce so that's why this is the tip that you might want to do because number one okra cooks very quickly so it's important that you blend it to this type of consistency that way when you put it there it just takes like five minutes to cook and you are done okay so that's why I did this and I wanted to share that tip with you guys because my sister-in-law shared that tip with me and ooh, guys <laughs> you don't even know anyways We'll let these things cook for a while. Oh, I forgot. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add the mackerel. And as you guys can see, I didn't break the mackerel too much. It's like big chunks. That's what you want, so that you can be eating like big chunks of fish when you're eating. And I told you guys I also broiled it, okay? Ooh, we can barely mix this, like, oh my god. So what I'm gonna do is take these scotch bonnets out, that way they don't break in there, because in my house, people don't eat too much pepper. So I don't want these to break in my food. And the uh, bitter balls is also cooked, so it's, I'm gonna take it out, put it aside, and then I'm gonna. All right, guys. 
So I'm now gonna go ahead and add our pants shrimp. And give it a stir. So you wanna add your shrimp a bit late because you don't want it to overcook and it gets hard, okay? I didn't touch record but I just added my last ingredient which is the um, blended okra and we're just gonna give this a very good stare and as you guys can see it's looking really pretty and I'm gonna let this boil for about five to seven minutes and we should be done Ooh. Guys, look how slimy this upper soup looks like. Look at that. Look at that. Woo! Now, always do that tip from today, okay? Give it a few more minutes, and now I'm just gonna add um, the peppers that I took out because I'm almost done, so they can go back in the pot on the sides, like so. Woo! Wow, woo! Alright guys, so we are done and this is the final result so for aqua soup as you guys can see this looks very good and it's pretty slimy so that's exactly what we want so now i am going to be enjoying this with some bite Hi guys, so this here is the finished result and I hope you guys enjoy watching it. And if you do, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share this video, and also subscribe to my channel until I see you in my next video. Bye guys and have a good one.